I'm Cater Miller, Outreach Curator at the National Museum of the Marine Corps. On April 1st, 1945, the 10th Army invaded the island of Okinawa. It was the last major amphibious landing made by the United States during the war. The ground forces included four Army divisions and the 1st and the 6th Marine divisions and the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing. The U.S. and British navies assembled the lar largest amphibious force in history for the battle. On L Day, Marines and soldiers landed virtually unopposed on the southwestern shore of the island. The Marines took Yontan Airfield and the Army's 7th Division took Kadena Airfield, then cut across the island and cut it in half on the second day. The Marines turned north to clear resistance, while the Army turned south where the bulk of the island's 100,000 defenders waited in caves and bunkers. After clearing the northern part of the island, the Marines turned south and joined the fighting at the Shiri Line. The combined force fought the Japanese defenders and pushed them south over the next month and a half. This is the museum's Okinawa case, and it's one of the newest additions to the World War II gallery. It features artifacts such as 1st Marine Division Commander Major General Pedro de Valle's medals and a relic LVT drive wheel of a vehicle that was destroyed while resupplying the Marines attempting to take Half Moon Hill. This relic was uncovered and donated to our museum by Chris Majewski of the Battle of Okinawa Historical Society Museum. This last ditch rifle illustrates the condition the Japanese Empire was in in 1945. These weapons were crudely constructed with fewer metal components and it shows how the Japanese forces struggled to keep their military supplied as the war continued. This artifact is a jumper worn by Clarence F. Fairchild, who was assigned to as a corpsman during the invasion of Okinawa. He earned the Silver Star and the Purple Heart, and despite having been shot three times, he continued to fight. The bullet was extracted during his lengthy recovery. The battle lasted nearly two and a half months. The 10th Army suffered 40,000 combat casualties and another 7,000 killed in action. The U.S. Navy suffered 5,000 killed in action, due to the constant kamikaze attacks that ravaged the fleet. More than 100,000 Japanese troops died during the battle, and it is estimated that 150,000 Okinawan civilians also died during the battle. It was the bloodiest battle of the Pacific War. For updates about the museum, please check our social media accounts and our webpage.